Good evening and welcome to 7 Minutes with Rose, our prayer initiative on Thursdays where we join our hearts together and we pray for 7 minutes. Praise God. 7 is the number of completion. As we join our hearts today, I would ask and I feel that the Holy Spirit is leading us towards a global prayer initiative, a global prayer initiative. And so there are a few things which we will cover tonight. First of all, as we begin, we shall pray for poverty, which is a global problem. Do you know that the pandemic erased more than four years of the progress that we had made as a globe on poverty? It's pushed millions into extreme poverty, mostly in the continent of Africa. We must lift them up to the Lord. Then again, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has only made things worse, more complicated. There are more global food shortages, and again, it disproportionately affects the world's poorest people. The second thing that we should pray about are the consequences of climate change on the earth. There's been increased heat, so there's more drought, more insects, our coastlines um, and our coral reefs are vanishing. We have more wildfires and there's less water supply basically. So there's less agriculture. And this has also affected the health of many people, the warm people with lung problems and whatnot. Speaking of which, the third aspect is global, global health. Actually, we always can thank God. Due to the pandemic, we have made progress with global health. Thank God for that. We are more prepared for the next pandemic and thank God for that as well. However, still vaccines and treatments are disproportionately distributed on the earth today. And we must call on the great and mighty name of the Lord to help us in this problem. Again, we have forced displacement, the refugee status in the globe. There has been a dramatic increase in refugees. In fact, one out of every 23 people, so if you count every 23 people you meet, one of them needs emergency assistance just to survive. These are historic levels of need and it represents millions of men and women and little children and they have been pushed to the brink of their very survival and they are at risk. These are the global health initiatives that we will address today. We need, of course, international cooperation. We need the United Nations, the World Health Organization, but we need you, you need me. All of these things have affected all of us in one way or another. And we need to unite as believers in Yahweh, as believers in Yeshua. We unite ourselves and pray, and we know that God will hear us. We're all interconnected, you and I. And these crises, these crises cause us to fall on our knees before the Lord. So let us pray. Let's pray for the poor. Let's pray for the consequences in the world. Let's pray for global health and for the refugees. And may this be a year of prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise be to our great and mighty King, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love and your grace. And thank you for the privilege to come together and to pray. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we are so glad that we can trust in you today. We are so glad that we stand a redeemed people that can call on your name because of what Jesus did when he became a man and he suffered and died for us. We are truly grateful, oh God, and we ask that you would hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer today on behalf of the poor. Oh God, hallelujah. We remember, oh God, your very words, for you said that you would rescue the poor when they cry out to you, oh God. You said that you would help the oppressed, O oh God. You said you are a father to the fatherless, O oh Lord, a husband to the widow. So we cry out on behalf of those who have nothing to eat. O oh Lord, open up your bountiful hand and feed them and clothe them and give them somewhere to lay their head. And O oh Lord, open our hearts that we would be generous, O oh Lord in helping as well, in lending to you, Father. Praise God. Father, you know that we are facing the consequences of climate change. Now, we know that the earth, the earth is like a hut in the wind. As Isaiah said, it's just swaying in the wind. So heavy upon it is the weight of its rebellion. We know, oh God, that we are a rebellious people. Father, forgive us. According to your great righteousness and mercy, forgive us, oh God. For you see the consequences that we are facing, oh Lord, with this climate change. The wildfires just devouring people's home. Father, give them somewhere to live. Forgive us, oh God. God, hallelujah. Help those with the health issues, oh God. Help us to restore our coral reefs. We don't even have fish to eat at this time. Father, heal us and heal our land. We pray for global health, oh God, hallelujah. We remember in Jeremiah in chapter 30 where you said, oh God, that you would restore our health and you would heal us, oh God. Father, we pray that we would be able to reach out to those where there's, you know, one doctor for 100,000 people. Oh, Lord, Lord, do your will in those places. Send nurses and doctors and physicians, assistants, oh, God, and heal us, oh, Lord. Heal your people and restore us the way you have always longed to do. Lord, make us a people of prayer. Lord, teach us by your Holy Spirit to continually call out to you during this year. Oh God, we remember how Jesus used to go up into the mountain and, and be by himself and, and just pray. Lead us to yourself. Make us your people of prayer as we join our hearts together in these seven minutes today. And this prayer we offer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for praying with us. Amen.